Hello, my name is Navigator, and in today's video, I'm not exactly sure what I would call it. It's kind of a discussion, kind of a review, kind of a highlight video, I guess you could say, but really what I'm trying to get to is when Minerva is going to have a new inventory change. If you guys are familiar with Minerva and you've been playing the game just as much as I have, you'll know that going on maybe, I want to say a year and a half, maybe now, if not longer than that, Minerva has had the same kind of rotation of the inventory, if you guys know what I mean. We've had the same stuff from her over and over again. And listen, it's all fun and well for new players when they see her come around and, you know, she's got all this really cool stuff in her inventory and they probably need it because they're saving up their gold bullion, whatever. But for players like us, the, the kind of incentive to go see Minerva, the excitement of her kind of coming and having a big sale, really isn't there anymore. And I want to say, I mean, yeah, year year and a half ago, whatever, how long ago, I mean, 10 years ago, I don't even know how long it was, we heard that Minerva was going to get an inventory change, and they actually made an update to the game where the items that she was going to have were no longer tradable because she was going to have it so soon, and then that just never happened. So in this video, what I'm going to do is kind of point A, I'm going to show you some point some of the things that you could have gotten from Nuclear Winter and will most likely be uh, in her inventory whenever it does change. And number two, I'm going to talk about why there hasn't really been an inventory change for her. So with that being said, let's just get into this. All right. Number one, you guys can already see that I'm wearing one of the Nuclear Winter Rewards, and that, of course, is going to be the famed ghillie suit. I always get asked on the channel, what outfit is that? Where can you get it? Well, right now, you can't really get it anywhere. Um... For, for a long time, the only way to get it was from Nuclear Winter, and then I remember there was like a week where uh, Bethesda said that they were eventually going to put him into her in Minerva's inventory for Gold Bullion, and everybody just se started selling all their Nuclear Winter stuff. It was like Christmas Day for all the players, especially me that really didn't get that stuff from Nuclear Winter. I was super happy. I picked up as many ghillie suits as possible, and now y you can't even drop them. You can't trade them. You can't do anything. You'll see here... If I go into my stash, and I'll get to these stashes in a second, um, but if I can kind of get to the G's as fast as possible, you'll see that I have a bunch of them, but I can't do anything with them. I was planning on trading them and doing this and doing that, and you just, you just can't do it anymore. So let's see. We're in the C's now, we're in the D's, we're in the E's, we're in the F's, and now we're in the... Jeez, there we go. See, so you got all this stuff, the ghillie suit hood, all this, because I figured I would sell it. But if I come to my inventory here, and I try to drop it, this item cannot be dropped. It will be destroyed. Wonderful. So I don't want to drop that. Yeah. And that's the same thing with a lot of this stuff. So yeah, that's point A. I think, in my opinion, probably the best possible outfit that, well, point A you can get from Nuclear Winter, but not point B that you can get in the entire game is the ghillie suit. So there you have that. And there's also the hood, but I'm not going to show that off right now. Something else I have is the Nuclear Winter beanie. You guys can see that right there. It's pretty cool. I think I've shown it off on the channel before. I kind of like how this looks. Um, but yeah, moving on. What else do we have? Uh, the Nuclear Winter Letterman Jacket is something we've got. And the, yeah, it's pretty sweet. It looks very similar to the other ones. But the, the thing that really stands out about all this Nuclear Winter stuff is the colors on it. That, that really vibrant orange. You can't really get that with anything else. So we got that. Uh, the tracksuit, I don't want to put that on because I think it re will replace my Under Armour. And yeah, well, you guys get the point. You guys get what I'm trying to say here. There's a bunch of Nuclear Winter clothes, and actually, I can move on here. I can go over to this kind of this weapon example that I had. This is a skin that I have for uh, Light Shining and Darkness. This is, this is actually one that you can still get today because they put it into the, uh, the event loot pool. But this is just another example of some of the cool things that Nuclear Winter had to offer and that you could unlock. And yes, again, Minerva was going to have a lot of this stuff in her inventory, but she never did. It just never happened. I don't know where it went, what happened to it. But this brings us to the last kind of segment of this video. And actually, I'm kind of all over the place here. This is something else you could have gotten from Nuclear Winter. These stash boxes here. There's a medium one that I don't have. But these are pretty cool. I love these stash boxes, especially that small blue one. Looks super cool. But anyways, the point that I'm trying to get to, if I can put my Ranger hat back on. I'm not sure if I already did. Yeah, I did. Um, the point I'm trying to make is... is is Nuclear Winter going to return? Now, I think this is the second time I've talked about this on the channel. The first time I talked about it in its own standalone video, and then they, I, I forget what, I, what reference I made to it, but in some video they said something about Nuclear Winter returning, or maybe like alluded to it, but guys, I really do think that Nuclear Winter is going to make a comeback. I mean, the custom worlds are, they, they look like a shopping mall in Gary, Indiana, the custom worlds, my man. Like, they're completely barren, totally empty, nobody makes videos, 
videos on there. Nobody even plays the custom worlds. I mean, listen, if you do, I'm sorry to offend you, but the custom worlds suck. There's no point in it, aside from, like, camp building, I guess. But, like, you know, like, the Butcher's Delight thing, nobody plays that. Nobody does that. So... I think it would be in their best interest, especially, and this is kind of the overarching theory that I have with all of this. The Fallout TV show is coming out very, very soon, and it's coming out on Amazon Prime, which is one of the two big things. You know, it's literally Amazon and Netflix, and they kind of beef with each other for the two prime time streaming services. And since Fallout is going to be on Amazon, they really want to make sure that this game is point A, going to be squeaky clean. That's why they got rid of Legacies, and they're making sure that all everything's all buttoned up up and looking nice. And point B, they want to make sure that players are going to stick around for a while. So I really think that when the Fallout TV show comes out, we're going to see a huge change in this game. But most importantly, I really do think they're going to bring Nuclear Winter back because we need something else. We need something else aside from adventure mode and just building camps and doing all that. We need some kind of fun, zany, pithy, whatever you want to call it, other thing to do on this game, and I really think that that's what Nuclear Winter used to be. It was kind of an escape for players to go and do something else aside from the adventure thing, and that is what we desperately are craving right now. I am so upset at myself that I did not play the crap out of it when I first got this game. Really big mistake on my part. But man, I would love to see Nuclear Winter make a return. And kind of just to finalize and solidify my point, that is why I think that they are not putting the Nuclear Winter items into her inventory because they're still kind of playing with the idea of bringing it back. So if I'm wrong on that, then I literally have no idea why they're taking this long to do this. They could have had this done years ago and it would have been no, like it would have, everything would have been totally fine. But all right. All right, I'm going to stop ranting there, guys, but there you have it. If you guys are curious on the entire selection of what the Nuclear Winter stuff has to offer, I'm sure that there's uh, websites. I know the wiki has it, but I'm sure there's videos and other websites. You guys can go check it out. And yeah, that's all I have for this video. I don't want to waste any more of your guys' time. So my name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.